Hello my virtual friends, nice to see you again. Um, this is the second video about math and the uh, Moog mother. Um, today we're going to talk about um, using math as an envelope generator, as a complex envelope generator. It's beautiful envelope generator. Math is very complex. You get many ways to plug, many ways to patch. But I'm going to show you how I patch math to have a beautiful complex envelope generator. Okay, I have a sequence. Um, it looks like a sequence. Uh, it's, it's a sequence titled from the movie uh, by John Carpenter, New York, 1997. I want to have an envelope generator uh, in my filter, in the MOOC filter. So I take the VCF cut off input here and I'm gonna plug the output of the channel 1 into it. Okay. Well, to have an envelope generator, I must uh, use a gate to trigger the math. It means that each time there is a gate by the MOOC, math will trigger the envelope. Okay, so I take the gate out and I put it into the trig input of math. This is very important to understand that each time uh, there is a gate, math will trick the envelope. Okay, we're gonna hear. So, I must use and turn the cut of frequency here, put a little bit of resonance, and I'm gonna put everything here. Okay. Um, the rise will be the attack and the fall will be a sort of decay release and I will adjust it in a logarithmic way or in linear way or in exponential way. Okay? This is the amount, the amount of the envelope. Let's hear. very snappy. I can adjust the sustain here. I can put more sustain here. This is the effect. Positive. can have negative too. Fucking good sound, no? This is really, really old school, believe me. So, why it can be an complex envelope generator because we can cycle the envelope here just like in the last MOOC 37 uh, let's try to cycle the envelope we will have a sort of delay of uh, amazing delay on the envelope let's hear I can adjust the delay here rate of the delay, very speed, just like a VCO, and I can have a real delay here.
negativ. Very strange. <lacht> Can get the sustain. Little bit of resonance. Okay, I had sustain. Very cool. Very. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Uh, there is something else. We have the channel 4 here, who is quite the same of the first channel. What happens if I cycle this channel, just like um, to have a sort of LFO, and apply this LFO, that can, can be turned to a delay too, and I can apply this channel into the rise or the fall of the first channel. Let's see what happens. I turn the volume here. Okay. I turn off the cycle of the first channel. Okay, what is happening here? is the fact that I get an envelope just apply to the fall of the first envelope and the fall of the um, of the channel one. This is the decay or even the sustain. It can be very snappy. if I cycle to channel 1 no I get an envelope on the decay or the sustain of the first envelope and I get um, I get a delay too on the channel 1 very beautiful sound It's a really beautiful module, this math by Make Noise. Let's try something else. Gonna unplug this. This. Well, I can trigger the channel one of math by. Um, maybe by the channel four. Okay, um, the end of the channel 4, uh, here on the lower uh, part of the module, uh, it has the end of cycle output. It means that I have a cycle here, and at the end of each cycle there is a gate. Okay, so I will use these gates to trig the envelope of the first channel and it will create a sort of delay, a very strange sound but beautiful one. It means that when this cycle here is ending it sends a trig in the math and it trig the envelope of the Moog Mother 32. Well, Listen. End of cycle. I can accelerate. Thank you. 
this video will be clear for you and um, well again once one time again uh, you get a lot of ways to patch the math this is the way I use to patch math and um, I think this is a really really good sound um, once again math is the perfect friend of the Moog Mother 32 see you in a third video next time Hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye-bye.